Here I am at Chilworth Manor, the hotel, nature reserve and science park. Because the hotel is closed, the grounds of the science park and the driveway of the hotel are uncharacteristically quiet of cars and dog walkers. This is a very uncertain time for staff at the hotel and those working at the science park. Yet this peaceful corner of the benefice invites a moment of contemplation. Meister Eckhart, the medieval theologian, once said that the Holy Spirit is the love which has sprung up from eternity and blossomed from the Father to the Son. Maybe that's too much of a concept for simply saying that creation is one place where God always shows his love. While this crisis is a time of uncertainty of work, economy and health, the Spirit is at work. I believe this is also a time to give thanks, to be amazed by all that God has done in our world. Just now the squirrels and the rabbits and the birds are largely left alone to enjoy the peace without being disturbed by us or cars. Here we're directly under the approach of the Southampton Airport and I'm wondering if the wildlife has noticed a lack of air and road traffic. So we, like they, are certainly spiritually richer for this quieter moment. Characteristic of Chilworth are the beautiful, gloriously coloured rhododendrons. These can be found growing wild in the hedgerows, and here at Chilworth Manor they're much more cultivated in the gardens. Now as I head up the driveway, we will see these showy flowers intermingled with tall pine trees, various varieties of prunus, and maples which will also provide glorious colours of foliage in the autumn. If Sir Francis of Assisi were here, he would surely give thanks for the beauty. He would praise the Lord for all creatures, praise Sister Earth who sustains us with her fruits, her coloured flowers and her, her herbs. And he prayed for all these things in his canticle of the sun. In the midst of this crisis, I would like to offer prayers for our earth, for the healing of creation, for our respect of earth and resources. I would also like to offer this moment of contemplation for all of those who can't enjoy peace, those worried about their jobs, their health or their families, those who are planning to get married, perhaps having a reception in a hall or at the hotel, all those people who have had to put their plans on hold. I would like to pray for those for whom being furloughed and at home is a difficult experience, perhaps because of relationship difficulties or perhaps even worse because of domestic abuse. I would especially like to pray for all of those who work and live in Chilworth, those working at the Chilworth Arms pub, the hotel, the science park and the children's nursery, those whose daily drive, walk or cycle ride up this driveway provides a healthy boundary between home and work or a mindful walk at lunchtime, which is not possible at this moment. Whoever you are and wherever you are, I pray for your family, for your health, for your security and for your personal well-being may now be a blessed and peaceful time. Amen. Please join me as I will pray the Lord's Prayer in my mother tongue, Armenian. Of Hermet, Borier Gimpnes, Kwa Anunat Surpella, Kuta Kaburutunatka, Ugamukulla, Ichpes Yerginke, Luimbesal Yergribera, Mera Menor Bahatse, Aisor Almezidur, Եվ մեզի ներ է մեր բարդկերը, ինչպես մենք հալ գներ ենք մեր բարդագաններուն, ու մեզ փորձութիան մի դանիր հավաճար են մեզ ազատ է, կանսի կու գտե թակավորությունը և զորությունը և պարկը, հավիտյանս հավիտենից, ամեն։